Hey guys, and welcome back to my Dagon and Remembrance Crew Mode, episode 32. Getting started, starting to progress in the league with our first game in the league, of course, against Oldham. 13 games in now, playing match day 14 at home to Oldham, and a game which we will be looking to win. A go go coming through early on and just slides the ball wide with a good chance to actually give us the lead there from the captain. Midson gets the ball here now, getting forward. He's creating space, hitting the shot, and again, the shot goes wide. So unlucky with these chances. But now, Oldham on the chance, score, and that, that was close. Learned to move the initial save, but it was close from the rebound from the second Oldham player. Stefan Hines doing well to get through here. Now he's got support in Josh Scott. A wonderful cross in, and that was a fantastic header from Josh Scott. Marvellous header from the big man, the big number 10. Look at that ball in. And then two defenders around him climbs the highest out of all of them and nods it home. It was actually a really, really good ball in from Zavon Hines as well. And that does mean we'll have a 1-0 lead going into the second half now. Shields getting behind the fence, but now he's having to pull away from one defender. Hits the shot, forces Schmidt into a goal, and into a save. Not a goal, he's the goalkeeper. He won't be really scoring, will he? Shields gets the ball here though, nice step overs, almost gets it out of play and Wilkinson with the header across the crossbar, Midson with the shot and just wide of the post again, Jack Midson, so unlucky, but now we get a lucky rebound there for Shields who hits the shot and ah, oh, that looks like it was in but just not quite, Winchester now for Oldham, ball over the top for Phil Skirk and he's chipped Lewington, Doe stopped it though and it's just past the line. Oh, how frustrating. How unlucky for Scott, though, as well. He did not deserve to uh, get that. He was he was just doing his job, and unfortunately, it passed the line. Midson close there, almost giving us the lead. Uh, re regaining the lead. Alita with the ball in towards Wilkinson. Headed out by Winchester. Canavan into Gold. Almost catching the keeper out there. But it's cleared away, only as far as Luke Howe, who's hit the shot. And he almost... Scored again, he's hit the post. We've hit the woodwork twice now. It would be really unlucky if we do not win this game. But Scott coming through uh, does well. It falls for Murphy, and he's on fine form at the moment. He's found his shooting boots. He's found his touch, and now he's finding the back of the net on pretty much, a, a, if not a weekly basis, uh, he's at least getting a goal a fortnight, to be honest. If he's not scoring every week, he's at least getting one goal a fortnight recently. Murphy doing well. He's also doing really well in training, to be honest. He's finally showing off all the hard work which he's gone through. Scott getting through here. He could get us another goal, which could boost our goal difference, but no. Keeper makes the save, and it ends 2-1. A good first game to start this episode. Unlucky from Scott, though, getting his own goal. But what, what can he say? And now going into another league game, I decided to play Sam Walker in goal for this match. And also Murphy up front because Walsall aren't doing the best in the league, to be honest. They're not really up there. So we're just going to push our luck. Sam Walker with a good punch out there from the tall man. Perkis gets the ball in. It's in towards Hemmings, and then the header goes wide. But again, Walsall on the attack, and I underrated them, but they're showing me that they could do pretty well. Benning with the ball here. Wilkinson gets it out as far as how, but he's lost out to it. It's fallen to Hemmings, and he's just turned his man and finessed it in past Sam Walker. And... uh are completely underrated Walsall, completely underrated them because they've just proved me that they can score goals and to be honest that was that was that was a pretty good goal well actually it was a good finish but it was poor poor defending and we didn't have a chance in the entire half so that just shows I completely underestimated them and their performances Canavan coming through now plays it into Midson Midson getting through now can he get a crossing to get us an equaliser, it's in towards Murphy, enough said, enough said, Reese Murphy, he's found his shoeing boots with the header there, getting the goal to level us, and I've, I've said it, I've said it time and time again, Murphy is now scoring goals, it's just, it's as easy as that, Murphy, uh, brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, Elito with the ball here, looking to get a ball, uh, it's actually just gone on a run. It's Medi Alito on the run. And he scored. Medi Alito did not want to pass it. He went alone, taking it all the way from his own half and giving us a lead. That's two goals in five minutes to completely turn this game on its head. Fantastic. 
Midson with the ball here. Plays it out to Zavon Hines. He can get across in. And it's in towards Murphy. Murphy's won it. And it's in the goal again. Murphy with a brace now. And now with a 3-1 lead. And that's pretty much secured us the victory in this game. 1-0 down at half-time. But we've completely turned the game up turned it around and got ourselves the victory and that was 3-1 win and now we're going to take a quick quick squad report because I'm pretty sure you guys want to see how the boys are doing feel free to stop at any time if you want and then uh, just pause the video and then if you want to look into detail at any of the teams uh, any of the teams any of the players stats and how they're doing and they're doing pretty well so far you can see a lot of green we're not getting that's because we have a young team so most of our team won't be going uh, decreasing in stats and there how went up by one which was quite bizarre considering he is 27 so I'm not really expecting him to go up but you'll see soon enough Midsom yet to go down but the next man Scott his acceleration has gone down by one which was absolutely ridiculous I mean he's he's 29 years old he's not even 30 yet and his stats are decreasing which is disappointing but you can see Sean Shields right there the same amount of goals as Josh Scott which shows Shields is just having a brilliant brilliant season so far Gould also going up yet to score 10 games I was expecting him to really come out but he's he's looking to be another Adnan Yanazai to be honest he's looking to be another Adnan Yanazai Walker there got two clean sheets from five appearances Murphy here he is five goals there yeah, that's what I'm talking about finally you found his shooting boots He's got almost the same amount as Josh Scott. Almost. Probably more than Midson. I, I can't quite remember what Midson got. He's definitely got more than uh, more than Obafemi and Waddle. As you'll see here, Brian Waddle only got two, which is quite disappointing. But um, I'm probably going to look to offload him in January. Maybe not extend his contract. We'll have to see. Because um, we've got strikers now, and he just does, doesn't look like to be in my plans. But that was the squad report. If you want to go back, pause it and check any stats, then feel free. I will not mind. Just just press play afterwards and carry on watching is all I have to say. But now, a game against Notts County. And Murphy, who's been in fine form, has, uh getting back into the team. He is getting back into the starting lineup. Hopefully, get, hopefully getting a goal again. We're on the attack early. Elito with the ball and he's in towards Josh Scott, who's won the header. There you have it. He's got his seventh of the season celebrating now with his strike partner Reese Murphy down there and a, 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 a can't speak a brilliant start to this match against Notts County you are not a team to uh, underestimate you know they've got good players like Danny Haynes there Dumbuya coming through and it falls to Nangle and Lewington's down to make the save McMillan's in the team also today also Gold is in the team as he just picked up the ball Murphy getting behind the fence Looking to cut in, he does cut in, it's a nice piece of skill. He hits the shot, it's saved, it's come back to Scott, and it's straight at a keeper. You probably should have like took a touch, tried to get a cross back in, but no, he went for the shot and it was never really gonna threaten their goal. But that's a wonderful piece of play from Notts County, a wonderful ticky tacker football, and they've eventually got the goal. Boo called. I think that's how you pronounce that for Notts County. And that's quite upsetting. I wasn't expecting to concede. I was hoping not to concede. But that's all that you can say. Gould coming through. It's deflected. And that's turned out to be an absolutely great save from the Notts County goalkeeper after the deflection. But 1-0 at half-time. And we need to do something in this half. We really do. Alito getting the ball here. Plays through for Bingham. He's got two players in support there. He gets to crossing in and it's in towards Reese Murphy who's won the header. Straight to keeper. He's won the second header. Saved. It's come to a go-go. But yeah, that was a go-go and it was put behind by their captain. Uh, Medi Alito taking the corner in towards McMillan who's won it and it's saved again. How did we not score there? Three chances. But we pick up a free kick here. We've got the big boys back. Alito puts it in and it's in towards McMillan. And that's a fantastic header in the 69th minute for McMillan. And the Irishman. That's his second goal of the season, I believe. Wonderful header there. Straight past the keeper. He's got no chance. That delivery, though. That's it all. That delivery. 90th minute now. McMillan lumps the ball forward. It's in towards Scott, who's flicks it on nicely for Obafemi. And he's got the pace to get away from his man. And now can he hit the shot? He tries chipping the keeper. 
It's going to drop. No, it was going to go out for a corner, but he's kept it in there. And it's a handball there from Labadee, and it's going to be a free kick. It's going to be a free kick, guys. Scott is not going to take it early. It's going to be Medellin. Oh, we've scored from one free kick uh, already, a delivery into McMillan. And I, I was debating, who should I take this free kick with? I did not know. I decided to stick with Medellin. Will it pay off? Oh, yes, it will. That is the first free kick I've scored on FIFA 14. And the game's been out for what? Four or five months now. That's the first free kick I've scored. It's Medialito. It's an absolute, not quite the postage stamp, but enough to get past the keeper. Look at that. I, I, I was just, I was jumping around my room when I scored this goal. I'm not even going to lie. That was, I was, I was just like, what? I, I just scored that. I couldn't believe it. But there you go. 3 1 victory now. And very, very good victory. And now here you can see the league table. We're up in fifth after these three matches. Three wins, huge wins. And that's the way we're going to end this episode. Thanks for viewing. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.